we introduce a new type of generative model called gradient origin networks. These are a type of implicit neural network which take as input coordinates and output a variety of signals such as pixel values for images, pixel values at points in time for video, or values in an audio signal. Our method, gradient origin networks, use extra information that describe individual data samples, allowing them to generate lots of images rather than just one. Other generative models also do this, such as autoencoders. These use two neural networks, one to compress data into a small code and the other to decompress. Gradient origin networks do both of these steps using a single network. We calculate the gradient of a reconstruction loss with respect to a zero initialized vector and use this directly as an encoding. This encoding is concatenated with coordinates and fed through the network, reconstructing the data. Finally, another loss assesses the quality of reconstructions. This means that we only need to train a single network, avoiding bottlenecks. Here, we see a small gradient origin network being trained in real time on a variety of popular datasets. As you can see, gradient origin networks train very quickly. A lot of information has already been learned by the network, even though it has not seen many training images. We now fast forward through the training process to around 4 minutes in. If we interpolate between a few images, we see that our network has learned relationships between the different objects. Continuing training again, sped up, we overfit the network to find out how much information it can store. Even with a small number of parameters like here, gradient origin networks are able to learn the data extremely well. We now demonstrate the representation ability of gradient origin networks. Tiny gradient origin networks with just over 4,000 parameters are trained on the same datasets. Despite this, Gradient origin networks are able to capture a large amount of global structure. Competing methods typically require far more parameters to represent datasets at this level of fidelity. In summary, we have proposed a new type of implicit generative model that captures datasets without requiring an explicit encoder and that can be sampled from in a single step. We have found that this approach is able to represent datasets with a small number of parameters with the advantage of implicit representation networks being able to model many different types of discrete signal.